Kuzampula, Namaste, good morning to all respected online viewers. Long live their majesties, long live our leaders and long live our friendship. Welcome to this online Ayurveda and Yoga workshops. Embassy of India, Thimpu, ICCS, Nehru Wong Food Culture Center, Yoga Teacher, I'm KVSSN Muthi here. My true prize to the Almighty to see all the best things to their majesties in the whole Bhutan. Uh, so, coming recitation actually from Gupta Vaidya Prakasika. It's a kind of Ayurvedic text. Uh, like uh, as anyhow we are uh, in this week we are seeing uh, the like uh, the diseases and disorders of the skin so it is a relevant um, sloka uh, in regarding of uh, health uh, skin's health so saying that taila bhyangasta grujam hanti satyam pada bhyango netra rogam nihanti netra bhyango danta doshopanodi srotra bhyango danta rogam nihanyat Masta bhyango sarva rogam nihanyat deha bhyango charma roga doshopahari means it is saying that ayurvedic importance in regarding how to bath in a very in the various methods uh, which has mentioned from the ayurved so it is saying that if you really bath according to the ayurved you are like uh, if you will take some oils and if you will prepare some ayurvedic bath powders especially uh, Abhyangana Snana means it's a kind of bathing therapy. It's a, our bathing is itself a therapy for the skin. So uh, for this, uh, we required some oils, we required some Ayurvedic preparation powders also. It's all organic powders, but the way how we are doing very important. So it's a, like all about the massaging the skin as well as massaging the head, massaging the eyes and ears and teeth and everything. So it is saying that during our bath itself, our skin will getting healthy okay coming to the protocols uh, what should we follow in this covid uh, time so better to follow safe physical distancing always try to cover your face with masks and ear caps and do not touch any kind of surfaces when you are going out so always carry hand sanitizers to clean your hands and the respiratory hygiene also very important especially uh, mouth pulling like oil pulling uh, like our water pulling as well as uh, for the throat goggling you can add estimadu powder or you can add tripala powder or you can add plain hot water and salt also uh, to clean the throat for goggling four to five times a day steam inhalation also recommended four to five times a day uh, when you are uh, taking the steam inhalation you can add ajwain seed oil or eucalyptus oil or plain hot water also you know and coming to sleep pattern, a 6 to 8 hours of sleep required, one more hour required if you are more active uh, like in front of the screens and computers. And physical exercises, morning half an hour, evening half an hour required. But please remember, walking alone will not give you any help. So like it, it should combine with many other exercises. But walking always good after meals. So post meals walk, does, oh, it, it is good. Uh, like uh, pre meals before breakfast before lunch and before dinner if you will really combine forward bends back bends side bends or somewhat cardio exercises that will add uh, good results in regarding health and clove powder clove powder as well as honey to get rid of the dry cough it's also good preparation in ayurveda and please uh, uh, like uh, remember in the home in the in the kitchen uh, please try to always use this kind of uh, kitchen remedies uh, turmeric garlic ginger ajwain seeds and uh, Ilachi and jaggery, cumin and uh, cinnamon and uh, rock salt and hing isophytida and uh, the local shilajit and uh, uh, like uh, local cordyceps and chavan prash. Along with them, you can add karachai preparation for good humidity and you can add, especially in the evenings, uh, you can add golden milk preparation also for better immunity as well as it's uh, stabilize the three doshas inside the body. Uh, plus, if you have traditional belief. To, uh, to use this tripala so you can regularly use tripala capsules or tripala powder especially uh, in the evenings or before going to the bed so it will relieve constipation like the diseases and disorders also plus today and tomorrow uh, we we have the lunar uh, day of tidi called radha saptami so it is a auspicious day to the sun god so for them also for that also we have a mantra called japa kusuma samkasam kasya peyam mahadrutyam Tamorium sarva papagnam pranatosmi divakaram. So, what we are eating food is a nothing but sun's direct energy. So, we like uh, gratitude is a greatest uh, expression. So, uh, my uh, greatest prayers to the uh, Lord uh, uh, Sun. And before starting our Ayurvedic exercises, just I will uh, I want to stress on this point that tomorrow our uh, online yoga class will start around 8:30 due to because of some. Uh, other occasions 
So uh, online participants, uh, please uh, notice this point. Tomorrow, only tomorrow, only Friday, to, uh, Friday tomorrow, our online class will start around 8:30 a.m. So coming to the uh, this week's uh, today's preparation uh, about the corn and callus. So that that is a kind of uh, skin disorder because of adjustments of the skin layers inside, or some other regions also. Uh, can be caused for this corns and callus but please remember don't use any sharp items or uh, knives to clean that area it will give further complications we, we have very simple ayurvedic applications when you notice this corns so first immediately approach doctor as well as you can use this kind of preparations also so take anjira or common fig uh, latex and milk so when you go to the tree so this both will be available latex as well as milk of anjira so try to combine this one and make a paste and apply on that affected area in just half an hour to one, one hour you will see the uh, smoothing of the skin. Also it is very good application to uh, like uh, to relieve the dry skin and dead cells on that affected area. Then after one hour you can wash them thoroughly then after that you can choose a do doctor also to take a treatment. Second application is potato aloo uh, like a pulp of the aloo. So take out that pulp and uh, uh, properly mix with the milk and put it on the affected area and just create one bandage if possible for only one hour then only like after that you can see that that uh, the smooth and skin so the dry cells and dry matter will be totally terminated so your skin will be uh, like getting better then third application is arzenia indica arzenia indica is a kind of onion not common onion it's a wild onion so take that onion it's avail available in the like a uh, uh, across the borders or in the like our Bhutan also so take out that onion and uh, take that pulp again try to put it on that affected area just make a bandage that very simple and very effective uh, application to smoothen the skin then third last application is uh, when you when you found the uh, like a corns and callus under the feet or uh, like on the four legs or on the palms or on the four hands so you can use this simple preparation first to take uh, acceptable hot water and after that add epsom salt so soak that concerned area for at least 10 minutes time to 20 minutes time then after that take out that uh, organ out and just wash wash it uh, with a like a uh, uh, clean it with a uh, dry cotton cloth and use uh, some kind of pumice stone to polish that area now you can feel that same observation called the dry cells and dry matter and the dead cells will be totally removed on the affected area so very soon the skin will get benefit so this this application also good for uh, in management of gout but in coming weeks we will see the good application good ayurveda applications for the gout so the uh, tomorrow when we are meeting here at around 8 30 am so we will see still more applications for the same cons and callus so let's join to the yoga class now So here sun salutation is our regular practice so it can be used as a warm up as well as it can be used as for the practices also. So during these practices uh, like a, uh, if, if you have traditional belief it is be, uh, like a better to chant mantra chanting and sloka also. As anyhow today and tomorrow we have Radha Saptami important Ashmi's Ashmi, Ashmi day of the sun. So it is better to chant mantra and sloka and take a long slow deep inhalation and exhalation. <coughs> Om Hiran Mayena Patrena Satya Syabi Hitam Mukham Tatvam Pushan Apavranu Satya Dharmaya Drustaye Om Ram Hrim Hrum Haim Hrom Raha Mitra Ravi Surya Bhanu Kagapusna Hiran Yagarbha Maricha Aditya Savitra Arka Bhaskaraya Namaha your arms forward and lift your both the arms for Hasta Uttanasan from there uh, once push yourself up from there slightly put a back bend called Ardha Chandrasan or Ardha Chakrasan according to your convenience and flexibility then after that keep your body straight once pull up and very slowly bend the body forward 
towards the floor called Padahastasan. So when you have uh, like uh, lower back pains or neck pains or heart ailments or blood pressure issues, avoid this practice or choose a simple way of doing. Now completely bend the body and here right leg is your back leg called Aswa Sanchalanasan, horse riding poster. So throughout the practice, do not depend on the uh, like forward leg. So here, use your forward leg for better abdominal press, but lift your chin up and few seconds stay. But when you have knee issues, so this posture may not suitable to you. And back leg straight on the toes and back leg knee up against the gravity. Then very slowly join your forward leg to back leg called Samturanasan or Dandasan. Few seconds stay. Then very slowly push your body down towards the floor called Asta Anga Namaskarasan. So lift the hips up and uh, like chest and palms and forehead or chin and knees and toes must be on the floor. Then slowly push your body forward, lift the head till the thighs up like a lifted head cobra posture called Bhujangasan. Here also uh, like uh, don't hang your body in between the shoulders. Over against the shoulders push up and few seconds stay now. Then back leg straight on the toes. Back leg, knee up against the gravity, slowly lift the body and push yourself inside called Parvatasan. Then here right leg is your forward leg called Aswa Sanchala Narsan Hearts Riding Poster. Here also adjust your body, push your body forward as well as down, lift your chin up for a while, stay 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Then slowly back leg straight on the toes, back leg knee up against the gravity, slowly join your back leg to the forward leg called Father Hastasan. And very slowly lift your arms up, then slowly lift the body, Hasta Uttan and Sarira Uttanasan at your temp and once pull up. And slightly put a back bend called Ardha Chandrasan or Ardha Chakrasan. Then very slowly keep your body straight. Pranamasan about to the head, then slowly bring them down at the chest called. Anahata Pranamasan. Then take long, slow, deep inhalation, exhalation. Then after that, slowly lift your both the arms with inhalation. And with exhalation, wide the arms. Then slowly keep them down at the thighs. Alright, few seconds, stay relaxation. Locking your hands back. Wide your legs and few seconds, stay now. And today, in our standing practices coming to first balancing exercise called Nasa Sparsasan or Pada Angusta Nada, uh, Nasa Sparsasan very simple exercise but the way how we are doing also important but when you have balancing issues you can choose wall support or you can choose chair support <coughs> so here keep your right leg forward then here lift your right leg up once few seconds press your thigh towards the abdomen then here turn your fore leg inside so your foot must come towards the abdomen. So here also few seconds wait for good balance. And according to your interest, according to your flexibility, so you can lift your leg and check the convenience of the leg. When you have cramp immediately down the leg, uh, once relaxation after that again come to the practices. Now here lift the leg up. So here no need to, uh, no need to bend the body forward, keep your body straight but lift your leg up. So then after that press towards the nose and stay for a while 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 then very slowly come back and keep the leg inside and after that slowly down the leg and relax your leg then few seconds rest your legs just take a long slow deep inhalation exhalation then after that opposite side leg same thing first just make a trial of folding the leg and check the convenience and check the dress check your mat after that turn your leg and hold the fore leg which you are two hands from inside then once check your thigh and hip condition then when you have cramping immediately down the leg again uh, resume the practices then here lift the leg up and lift your leg further up again check your balance and convenience so use second arm also for uh, lifting the leg further up and pressing towards the nose is important here called Nasa Sparsa Pada Angustasan few seconds stay 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 then 6 come back relaxation then slowly keep the legs down then slowly relax your legs again long and deep slow inhalation and exhalation still further long deep inhalation and exhalation 
And for the next poster, I requested, I'm requesting my video technician to come on my right side or left side. <coughs> so next exercise, very simple exercise, one of the Trikon Asan variation. Uh, this is what we call Uchita Parsvakon Asan. So we have many names in the reference, but it's a simple, we can understand that it's a Trikon Asan variation. So right, wide your legs, turn your right leg to the right side. Then after that, bend your knee. So when you have interest to stretch your legs more according to your interest and previous experience, you can do that. So try to put that uh, folded leg sides elbow on the folded leg knee to press your body more. So here I am doing two variations, one is easy and one is difficult one. So this is very easiest one, so you can adjust your arm and few seconds to stay now. One, two, three, four and then slowly come back and five. Then relaxation is enough, comes right. Then keep the legs straight, then slowly release from the strain and few seconds relaxation. Just take a long, slow, deep inhalation and exhalation. And same thing, opposite side. Choose proper way of stretching. Turn your left leg to the left side. Then here, bend the body and keep that folded leg side hand on the folded leg knee. Then here, few seconds to stay. Lift your alternate arm up. Again, few seconds to stay now. One, two, three, four and five, then again slowly come back, release and relaxation. So initially we are doing five seconds or ten seconds in the poster, no need to stay more time, especially this instruction may belongs to uh, the beginners. Right, fold the legs, take long, slow, deep inhalation, exhalation, then same exercise, we are doing some other variation with the like arm down on the floor. So again, wide the legs, keep, fold the right leg. Then adjust your dress, adjust your mask and keep a maximum press but when you have knee issues this posture may not suitable to you then put your right arm on the floor just next to the right foot on the floor, lift the left hand up from there slightly slant them on the head throughout the practice look up and stay now 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 then very slowly release and slowly relaxation by keeping the hand on the knee then slowly push up then few seconds rest just take a long slow deep inhalation exhalation and further long deep slow inhalation and exhalation all right after relaxation now again to the opposite side same thing change the leg style then turn your left leg to the left side and check your breath check your convenience then slightly bend your knee, then try to put your left hand on the floor, on the uh, left side, just next to your foot and after that lift your alternate arm up, then from there slant them on the ear, throughout the practice don't bend body forward, now keep the head up and stay now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and then slowly come back and Keep open the above hand and slowly put them on the leg. Then slowly rest from the posture and relaxation. Then few seconds relax from the way. And I'm requesting my technician to come in front of me. Then our next exercise is very simple and very effective exercise called Vajrasana. So this is only one eligible poster uh, like which, uh, which can be performed after meals, after breakfast or after eating anything, when you have possible to sit in this posture, it is good for your dig digestive tract. So right here, first sit on the floor. <coughs> then few seconds, slant the body. Take a long, slow, deep inhalation, exhalation. All right, after that, keep your body straight, preposition, samasthiti. Then tilt your body on your, on your left side. Fold your right leg under your hips. Uh, but check your convenience when you have knee issues or ankles issues better to avoid this practice then sit on the leg shift your body weight on the folded leg and tilt your body towards the right side put your right arm for support on the floor then fold your next leg under the hips and try to sit properly on the knees so this is very simple and effective posture and this can be like used as pranayam posture meditative posture and you can relax in this posture also when you have somewhat leg pains because of overstrain <coughs> overstrain are the people who are doing standing works
so once a hour or once in uh, two hours you can just sit in this poster to get relieve the pains and strains from the legs few seconds long slow deep inhalation and exhalation especially this vajrasan uh, in the pranic pravah channels one of the nadi called vajra nadi that will be active in this poster that is what we call invisible pranic pravah channels okay long slow deep inhalation then completely slowly deep exhalation <coughs> so one of the variations uh, which can be born from this posture called supta vajrasan or somewhat resting vajrasan posture so here slightly move your right leg out and left leg out then after that right toes and right ankle also wide and left ankle also wide try to sit below with the arms support just keep the arms uh, like on the floor or you can use two bricks also because somewhat it will give more gravity and few seconds to stay now so here still you can wide your knees and wide your legs to sit on the floor and few seconds stay now one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten so again in the same variation one more application also they are called sleeping on the back so according to your convenience you can adjust your body side you can finish uh, this poster uh, like uh, till here all right now coming to next actually application again my i'm requesting my video technician to come on my right side or left side so use this technique for uh, like uh, 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 for a better relaxation of the back as well as legs also so just to tilt your body on your right side or left side put your right arm or left arm slowly like drive your body to the relaxation posture and few seconds to stay here once you will sleep in this posture your hips will be lifted up from the floor so this is one variation so you can keep your arms on the floor on the sides or you can just lock your hands above to the head or you can lock your hands under your head or still you can if you know fish posture well you can just lift your above back up and put your head on the floor just in this way also you can relax your back and few seconds stay now one two three four five six seven eight enough ten then slowly come back and rest your palms and with the palms help rest your back then slowly keep your arms down then after that like hands together towards your legs then slowly tilt your body on your right side or left side with the elbow help then slowly get up and relaxation for the same posture you can use uh, booster pillows or uh, some somewhat uh, yoga bricks also <laughs> right slowly keep your both the knees and legs together again sit on the knees and tilt your body on your right side open your one leg and open your second leg then soon after that immediately do this exercise called butterfly movement or knee turns for relax the hips and legs one two three four last counts five enough relaxation all right let's coming to the pranayam practices <clears throat> and try to sit properly in any convenient poster on any convenient surface uh, <clears throat> today also i'm doing my lotus poster <clears throat> So here, uh, sloka chanting and mantra chanting will be uh, same like yesterday. When you have your traditional belief, you can just follow sloka mantra or you can just follow the actually practices of Bastrika and Surya Bhadana. And before pranim, uh, before adding uh, this pranayam to your practices, it is recommended that you can drink a sip of water also for mantra chanting. <coughs> Om Kesavaya Swaha. माधवाय स्वाहा ओम नारायणाय स्वाहा ओम अद्य सधी तत्फल सिद्ध्यम आसन पूर्वका प्राणायामदीन क्ये ओम शांद शांद शांदी एंड द आर्म्स डाउन दिस मंत्र चांटिंग The the meaning of this mantra is so what we are doing exercises in yoga pranayam exercises and meditations 
all the workout in the yoga it is not only mentioned for the physical health and material health so like uh, it's also called it's also called as spiritual uh, well being so it is a kind of journey towards the spirituality we have to be care about our physical body as well as the mind also to give the strength to the body and mind we are doing this pranayamas and this this kind of yoga postures and this kind of yoga workout so basically this yoga and pranayam meditations will directly uh, like uh, triggers physical health and mental health social health and spiritual health so coming to basrika pranayam uh, it is saying that vata pitta slashma haram sariragni vivardhanam kundali bodakam kshupram pavanam sukadam hitam brahma nadi mukhe samasta kapadyargala nasanam basically it is saying that flum related disorders or mucus related disorders will be totally terminated also it is saying that whatever wind imbalances or mucus imbalances or bile imbalances will come to the stabilizing point uh, like uh, it is direct connectivity to the ayurved uh, in, in this shloka saying about the ayurvedic importance also so but the people who are doing uh, like uh, in, in what way they are doing also very important because it is a good pranayam to uh, give balance in the immunity level as well as in the metabolic level and surya vedana pranayam also very good pranayam called kapala sodhanam vata doshagnam krimi dosha hrut puna punah ridam karyam surya vedana muttamam in generally whatever the pains or strains around the eyes or ears or nose or throat it it, it may be because of wind imbalances in the skull and the face so basically the surya vedana pranayam will rectify that errors and also it is saying that vata doshagnam in generally in the body also uh, vata dosha means wind imbalances will be come to normal and krimi dosha hrut means abdominal worms will be killed because of this pranayam so let's start the uh, physical exercise exercise spot very simple very easiest and very effective practices keep the position straight and here voluntary slow sorry voluntary sharp inhalations slow exhalations so we are we are not doing any other variations in the bastrika we are doing plain inhalations All right starting 1 then take a long pause inhalation exhalation then same thing second spell 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 then long deep inhalation exhalation and third last spell 10 strokes again starting 1 2 3 4,5,6,7,8,9,10 then long deep slow inhalations and exhalations but while doing this kind of uh, practices the sharp inhalations or sharp exhalations when you have feeling of giddiness or throwing sensation or any any, any other uh, like symptoms of uh, like high blood pressure Uh, immediately stop the practices and take relaxation it's better to take advice from your yoga teacher and physician before starting any kind of practices uh, any kind of physical exercises right coming to the surya vedana pranayam open your right hand last two fingers and right hand thumb open then turn towards the face and head obviously your right nostril will receive your right thumb left nostril will receive your last two fingers of the right hand close your left nostril inhalation with the right nostril and slowly completely breathe out with the left nostril again inhalation with the right nostril and completely slowly breathe out with the left again inhalation with the right and completely slowly breathe out with the left nostril fourth count inhalation with the right nostril and breathe out with the left 
last inhalation with the right and slowly complete breathe out with the left and slowly keep the arm down then take slowly deep long inhalations and exhalations after finishing your pranayam so directly you can choose dharana practices if you know well how to keep the concentration fine at the eyebrow center or you can choose any good practices from the trataka abhyasas concentration practices after finishing your uh, concentration practices and dharana practices or mantra chanting you can choose uh, yoga nidra abhyas nidra yoga or you can choose power nap also after finishing your yoga practices take out some time uh, to take breakfast further 5 minutes uh, take time to uh, like breakfast so please remember your bathing time and your breakfasting time and your yoga time so it depends on how you are doing the practices in what level you are doing the practices also coming to the afternoon practices uh, before your lunch hour see all the possibilities how to take a power nap please try to learn uh, to do this power naps or yoga nidra abhyas in sitting positions also because for the especially office goers uh, it is more recommended uh, in the evening after finishing your office works and house works Uh, and sporting and sports works and everything so take out half an hour schedule to do these yoga exercises in including back bending exercises and including uh, simple embedded postures also uh, if you have no time in the evenings especially before your dinner time also you can choose 20 minutes or 30 minutes practice uh, to do this self yoga exercises so tomorrow when we are meeting here uh, around 8:30 am so we will see still more applications in the ayurved and yoga for the same corn and callus in the yoga also we are seeing more good exercises for the hip stretching and leg stretching so thanking you all to giving me this wonderful opportunity and stay away from the bad habits and do yoga also thanking you all